So this is all 34 stitches. I'll figure it out. I probably don't need all that light anyway. Hey guys, we love when you comment on our videos. For every person who likes and comments on our video, we're going to enter you in a chance to win a free I Hunt Dead Things hat. One rule, however, it must include these words. We'll contact the winner and you can pick the style and color that you prefer. I'm here with John from Fossil Junkie on Instagram. How's it going? He pulls up some great stuff consistently and he has a different method of hunting than we are typically doing on my videos and it's been a fun already yep. to get on this beautiful, what do you call it again? Yeah, I haven't came up with a name for it yet, but uh, we'll just call it a fossil finder. <laughs> <laughs> We are hot, you can probably tell. Um, I got soap in my eyes, so it looks like I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got uh, sweat just because we're in, well, I'm in a five mil and the sun is beaming on us. So we're gonna get in the water and hopefully show you some good stuff soon. Awesome, guys. This hunt is a lot different for me because I can't see anything down there. John is down there feeling holding with his hands, so I'm gonna free up my hand and try to do the same thing. Found a really nice tapered jawbone. Dive in this deep hole. Incredible preservation on this one. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find the other half. Maybe the front side of it. So learning about air boats here, I left my shirt out and my shirt's now in there. We finally found a place with some visibility. Dry land. We're not the first ones here because here's some teeth just sitting up on a log that somebody picked up. Didn't bring home with them. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave your shirt on the seat of an airboat. Yeah, I, uh, might, I've seen better days, that's for sure. I might check out if I can return it. Yeah. That's... I'm ripped. Yeah, you are. <laughs> First dive of the day, and I got a juvenile mammoth tooth. We're out here diving the Peace River today with Michael from I Hunt Dead Things. He found a big old mammoth tooth. But it fell out of his dive bag. <laughs> so, all kinds of bones and stuff. We're gonna see what else we can get. As long as we don't get run over by one of these guys. Yeah, I'm telling you. Gear up and check. Take it over, there's a gator right there. If you can see it, just barely poking his head. He's got the Nemo. Go down there and give me a heads up. Fort Myers.
Yeah, yeah. check it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's the second full clip I've gotten. Really? Yeah. In this river? Yeah. I think the other one was this river too. There's the dive. What a way to end the day. Don't get no better than a day like today. The bags end at the rainbow. So if they want me to get in there and get it going. <laughs> so I will. I am at the river, just got here, at the same river that uh, Jeffrey recently was attacked by an alligator. Jeffrey's gonna meet us here and he's gonna give us an account of how that went down. All right, we are here with Jeffrey, um, who just got tagged by a gator, who got attacked by a gator, I should say, here in this river. This river is known for alligator attacks, uh, lots of aggressive alligators. So, yeah, where where did this happen exactly? I got bit right here. <laughs> right, basically, underneath where we are, see that. right there is where I got whacked. And by whacked, I don't mean its tail. <laughs> We got bit right there and then we looked at each other after he hit me. Pulled me down. My mask and GoPro are still down there right now. Didn't even get a chance to get any teeth. I just got, I was in the water for one minute. Just free diving. I didn't even have a tank. I didn't have a boat. I just really wanted some teeth. I'm obsessed like everyone else, but uh, I'm still just busting my butt trying to get some big teeth. Support my business and support what I love to do. My you passion. got a small business, right? The Yeah, man. This is Shark Co. So... I use a lot of the small teeth I find into bracelets and turn them into necklaces, jewelry. The earrings right now are pretty hot. I got 14 karat gold for those, but uh, I'm really jealous of these because I know these are in here. I found them in here before, but who knows? There could be something crazy right there, but in this river, there's always something protecting the good stuff. Long story short, we actually, me and John, were out at the piece on his airboat. The very first time we met Jeffrey was right there. <laughs> the day before. At the dock. He mentioned their river, um, asked if there was visibility. I told him I was there the week before. He went, we went separately, and we just came across this little area, and there were FWC, as you'll see, was pulling or trying to pull something out, trying to catch something. And John mentioned that somebody probably had been attacked. By Gator that day. Yeah. That's when we found out later that night that it was Jeffrey, the guy we met at the... Peace River the day before. These are pretty much All right. the better of the oh my gosh. hundred something teeth we found. That yeah, day. I can't believe you found hundred teeth. Like Those are beautiful, man. Those I are mean, shiny. Look at the colors, red. That amber is beautiful. I've never seen a tooth like that color in my life. It's got look like that. golden beach with super super sharp serrations on that one. Oh, turn around real quick. Oh, yeah, and we got the Peace River. You guys are probably already following them on Instagram, but if not, follow Fossil Junkies. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're actually back at ground zero where I got bit, right here's the spot. Right under there. Now I have Mike with I Hunt Dead Things actually going back in the water, looking for my GoPro, which has the footage on it right there. So FWC did a good job and they removed the six foot four inch gator out of here. And now judging by my head,
Here he comes. Oh no, does he got it? Already. Yeah, I thought I'm out of here. Oh my god. You want it? <laughs> it's all yours. Yeah. I just can't seem to. You gotta go south. South? You gotta go that way. You didn't go that far. You see me popping up? Yeah. You got some more Coke bottles. That's RC Cola. Oh, that's that's crazy, cool. man. I don't know if I can take I'll take a cola. Bought, the first you need to go past that log a little bit. I need to. I think you need to go back that way some. And also maybe head this way. So Okay, so I think keep I think that same like, depth, but if you go back along this line. Michael just came up with this killer killer rooted mastodon tooth. Unreal. It's got a little damage. Look at that. It's now 9.51. Michael still hasn't came back up. I think he's really on to something here. He's not far from the boat, so I know he's still alive. All right, guys. Michael's going back down after this elusive GoPro hunt. He stumbled across possibly one of the greatest discoveries he's ever found. So far, he came up with this beautiful mastodon tooth, four associated whale teeth, and, and I have spotted the rest. He's got the whole jaw down there. He's gonna work on coming up. Here is the corner to the jaw, and he said the jaw's sitting down there, laying in the sand with tons of teeth sticking out of it. Just sitting there. Yeah, they're sitting in there. That one's that Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. My, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. So, we did come out here to get Jeffrey's GoPro. And uh, that was seriously the only intent. I actually didn't think he was in a good area. And then I stumbled across two, and you could tell they were associated big whale teeth like I've never found. Which I photographed when you first came to the boat with yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> and you knew they were associated. Yep. But I did not expect to find them all lined up in the jaw. And we got 20 total over there. I'll scan over those boys. Some of these are still in the jaw. And that one belongs in the piece there. Along with all of those whale teeth. Unreal. I mean, this is just one of the most incredible things I've seen look at the size of them Huge. that's an eight to nine inch whale tooth right there I've got an eight inch hand <laughs> there is a part two coming out we came back again with more divers we ran into the trappers who had an incredible twist and the GoPro footage was recovered also for part two we will have a better idea about our whale jaw and the Florida Museum of Natural History may send a crew down here to excavate the remains if so we'll bring that to you as well Make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss out.